The 17 year old in Scarver Hall playing number 19 Kartikari won his first match in a dominant come from behind performance against Marat Sarayan to win 4 1, while Bashit Simmons on the 15 battle with Laird Simmons winning 3 love but lost second round matches to high ranked opponents. In Scarver Hall, in particular, lost to the tournament's second seeded player, Sarayan Singh. In the consolation draw, Bash won his opening match but faltered in the quarterfinal stage, while in Scarve Hall went the full distance in his category. Both players spoke to the local media about their experience. I congratulate you, Ryan, on being here in Canada opening. Uh, first question is how did you feel after your first victory here? Um, you know, going into my first match, I was quite nervous. But, you know, I was still nervous during the match, but as the match progressed, I got more confident. And I ended up becoming victorious in the match, so I felt very, I felt great out of the match, boosted confidence, so I felt like well. uh, Second question, Ryan, uh, how has the temperature affect your, your game being here in the cool, cooler weather? Uh, the temperature definitely did affect it, because you know, we come from Guyana, the place is hot, we're accustomed to the wall bouncing all over the place, so coming here, you know, is it Change the time, the base is cool, the nose is cool, the ball the bumps as much, but eventually we adapted to it and we got used to it after all. And Ryan, uh, being here this year, how, how would it improve your game uh, for your your next game in uh, Philadelphia up in 40s? Um, we definitely gained a lot of experience over here in Canada. You know, as you just said, um, we got adapted to the Climate. and sometimes we definitely have to work on this, you know, we decide volume more because we got used to it. So we really look forward to experiencing the field that if you're coming up here next few days. Final question. Are you looking forward to coming back here next year and compete? Because yeah. you're so competitive in this week. Uh, next year definitely be back. Come back for a cup next year. Congratulations Mr. Samuel on being in the Canadian opening and uh, being very uh, competitive here this this season. I got a few questions for you. Uh, Mr. Samuel, uh, first question is how did the uh, temperature here affect your game in this tournament? Well, um, the temperature was very different from the usual climate we used to. Um, the ball does about the same way. Um, I especially had issues with my muscles. Um, my muscles were very cold before a match. And in one of the matches, in fact, I started um, cramping up in the, middle of the, in the middle of the match and it caused um, my game to drop tremendously. So, I have to try and fight through that in the US and maybe find different measures to come back the cold. Thank you, Sam. Our second question. Uh, how did being here in the Canadian Open is going to improve your game headed to Philadelphia in four days? Well, um, the level of squash is very high amongst all, each category. Um, I think I've learned a lot from watching the other players in my category, how they cover the court, how they cut off the ball, how they volley the ball. That's what I plan to do going into the US Open. Try and cut off the ball more and move my opponent around the court much better. Yes. And part of your success being here, you had a loss to the champion that's going to be playing for the championship here. Uh, how, did, how do you feel about that playing with someone that good or great in the future you will be? It was a good experience. Um, I realized, again, the level of squash is way different than what we have in the Caribbean. Both moved to the United States of America where they play in the United States Junior Open from December 16th. They will be joined by Guyane, Shamari Wilshire, Michael Alfonso and Nicholas Forway. For the newsroom, Akim Green.